I think that's probably a good question. It's something I thought about for a little while. I'm sure they had to get their ducks in a row legally, but I think also they were hesitant based on perhaps the source of it. I'm, I'm not sure. That's only speculative for me, but I think taking nearly a month was pretty crazy. Well, based on the small pool uh, that I could find, whether it was, I, I ended up with about a dozen between judges and Magic the Gathering store owners. So about half of them were judges. Yeah. Well, once the ball started rolling, uh, maybe a week uh, to really to get a kind of the eighty percent of it, the to to form the trends, and I had some help from a journalist, uh, Lou Calgiovanni. He helped do a lot of the legwork in the in the. He wasn't covering it like from my side. He just happened to be covering it in a parallel time frame, so I was able to lean on some of the the data that he was able to put together too to make my life a little easier. I think he's independent. They have acknowledged that there's been some mistakes made, but no, they have not acknowledged any, any me in any way at all, directly or indirectly. No, 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 nothing. I think the game itself is really good at community building, and, and when you're young, I think it teaches you to think strategically. And there are a lot of elements to the game that helps help bring people together, and that, that's what Magic: The Gathering is compared to a lot of these, you know, online games. Magic really gets people out of out of their homes and in, into the game stores and and builds communities. So that that's what I think the strongest value is. Well, I think that I'm I applaud their efforts. I think that it's. Uh, it would have been a smart thing to do. Uh, I don't want to diminish it because clearly so many weren't. I am happy that they were doing it um, as just a, a general type of employment scan. I think it's just really smart. Well, I think right now the way it's rolling out is still very nebulous. A lot of people want to proclaim this as a done deal. I don't think that that's the case at all. Wizards of the Coast put out a very vague statement and pushed all of the pressure back onto the local game stores to basically cover themselves only. All, so they said local game stores are required to run these checks, but essentially that they're not going to check up on them. They're not going to help offset the cost, even though having judges at events at local game stores is a requirement by Wizards of the Coast. They're not helping, as it stands right now, to offset any of the costs. And I think it's completely ridiculous that this huge corporation couldn't help offset these costs for these local game stores that already uh, have to live with razor-thin margins. Yeah, thank you so much for your time. Okay, cool. All right, bye now.